throw a number of different defenses at him today. If you're Spain, you go right back at Gasol. Powell was the leading scorer against Argentina. He knocks down the three-pointer, a shot that he's been taking a lot more frequently back in the NBA. And we're tied. Gasol, so the channel wouldn't pick up a second quick foul. LeBron James just missing. Still tied at three. Calderon back the other way. Lobs it up for Ibaka. And Serge Ibaka gets it to go. Serge Ibaka, born in the Republic of Congo, friend, but to Ibaka and Russell Westbrook going to be coming off the bench. As well as James Harden, who actually is a six man. We'll cheat it for international basketball purposes. Here's Gasol wide open from the free throw line. They're going to have to cover him. He can knock that down. Frank Chandler had the help on the back cut, and that left Gasol open at the foul line. Since the 3 0 start by the United States is. There's the switch. LeBron settles for the three. And the United States a little bit stagnant that time on offense, Frank. I think the key for Team USA is you cannot just rely on contested jump shots. JC Navarro from downtown. Navarro shot the three ball very well in his only season with the. And I think LeBron has got to be the guy that has the ball in his hands. Come off those screens. Haven't seen a lot of that so far. That's their first points in almost four minutes. Calderon inside to Ibaka. And Ibaka gets the layup to go off over LeBron. I know there's some thought in the NBA that Juan called uh, a job by Powell. He understands. But, no, you're absolutely right. Five personal fouls means you got to play it like a college coach if you're Coach K. Sit a guy down with two in the first half. Calderon inside. Nice pass to Serge Ibaka. Calderon is a surgeon. Telling you, the guy had nine assists a game this year for the Toronto Raptors. Take a look as he gets deep, draws Durant, Ibaka the recipient. Ibaka with eight points in the ball game already, off to a good start against his OKC teammate Kevin Durant, and now Russell Westbrook in the ball game. Carmelo inside had it rejected, got the second one back, and that's going to be good on the goaltending charge. A three-point ball game now. Hey, Carmelo Anthony has got. Let's see what Spain can do with Pau Gasol getting a breather on the bench. Another nice dime by Calderon to Ibaka. Uh, we saw this at times against Argentina and Brazil. States a couple of six-point wins against Australia and only a four-point win against Great Britain. But one thing about the United States, friend, they're going to get everybody's A game. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, look at this. Ibaka right now is dominating. You can see there's no white. Getting a breather. One of my favorites, Victor Sada in the game now for Coach Scariolo. Sada made one too many pass. Gets it back and knocks down another three. It's a ten-point lead, actually a long two. And a nine-point lead for Spain with 1.48 to go here in the Let's see what the United States runs coming out of this timeout. More pick and roll. Darren Williams with the long three comes up short. See, I, I just don't think early in the shot clock you necessarily need that contested shot Williams squeezes through and one and Darren Williams will go to the free throw line try and complete Mark, even, when, play. even when you have great outside shooting you've got to play the game in attack mode that time Williams gets all the way to the rim but if you effectively drive the paint you're going to open up perimeter serve rest that means Victor Claver in the game for uh, for Spain. He'll join the Portland Trailblazers this year. This match as Westbrook gets the layup to go on that shot over Claver. And it's down to a two point lead for Spain. The launch is no good. After a slow start, the United States that he sent out. Kevin Love, are you ready to lose against Spain tonight? Always nice when you have teammates talking a little bit of trash yeah. prior to games. Uh, they were hugging each other during the warm ups. They, uh, Ricky uh, coming back from ACL surgery. Rubio recovering nicely and ahead of schedule. Bucket ready to finish the half. And that's important because he's their primary ball handler. Tied at 28 as we approach six and a half minutes. Under six and a half minutes to go here. Nice feed inside by LeBron to Carmelo Anthony for the layup. Good basketball that time. Great set right there. Came off the ball screen. LeBron flashed. Our guys are so accustomed in the NBA to getting out and running, quite frankly, without putting the ball on the ground right away. It's become a habit. And we've seen so far in FIBA play that they've made that call. 
Calderon with the jumper over Chris Paul took it right at him. Hey, what, if Toronto doesn't want Jose Calderon, and I know you're familiar with the Raptors. Of uh, the second quarter. It's all guarded by the shorter Carmelo Anthony. Got a little one on him. They help out, but to no avail. Saul still got a clean look at it. And here comes LeBron. See how Spain is trying to navigate that mismatch inside. Carmelo Anthony has it clicking on all cylinders right now. 18 points in the first half for Melo. And these officials have, uh, have been, uh, you know, uh, overly judicious today. Serge Ibaka brings Spain to within one. But Serge Ibaka is a uh, run his mouth a little bit, but he's backing it up with his play today in a big way. Chris Paul off the screen and Chris Paul on the scoreboard again. He's got five. This is, this is such a good test for Team USA. They're even getting a little bit frustrated physically. That time Calderon turned it over. LeBron on the move and the layup. United States lethal in transition. That's where they can get you. Calderon. Bad pass turned it over as Ibaka couldn't find the handle. That's the 11th turnover. LeBron on the move. Nice kick out. Great ball movement and Carmelo yeah. cashes in. That's the, you know, to me. For, uh, LeBron is the facilitator. Get the ball in his hands. Let him attack the lane. If it's not there, kick it out. Now when you're shooting jumpers, you're getting open for the Raptors. Guy averaged nine assists a game on a bad team. And that's that's not easy to do. Here's Darren Williams Durant from downtown Durant having a tough time but Kobe inside LeBron uh, took the hit. Now see if you're LeBron you got to go right through Ibaka's body and he's a double punt. You might get an easy one here feeds it to Kobe for the easy layup. And the United States leading by 11. And right now Team USA cranking up that perimeter pressure defense. You're talking about guys that have been first team all NBA defensively guys like Kobe and LeBron. Calderon being dogged on defense. Ibaka with a nice jump hook inside that puts an end to the 11 to 1 USA run. Ibaka with a huge first half meanwhile for Spain. He's got 16. What you love about him, I remember seeing him as an 18 year old at the Euro camp, is that he's got, he's expanding his game. Not a bad outside shooter, can play pick and pop. Certainly a defensive presence. Kobe on the post up, gets the slam to go. That looked like the number eight Kobe Bryant, not the number 24. <laughs> now, what you love about that is he went right at the rim. No double pumping. Team USA, some easy opportunities. And don't forget, coming up at the half, it's the USA Basketball Halftime Report by State Farm. First half analysis and uh, the latest news on Dwight Howard still to the second, as we know, a member of the Orlando Magic. And a lot of talk about him starting the season that way. Rudy Fernandez, meanwhile, with his first three ball after several. Hey, by the way, no uh, Tyson Channel to start the third quarter. He's got three fouls. LeBron guarding Pau Gasol. Gasol shot it right over the top of him. And the lead is dunk over Dwight Howard. In fact, there's four members of this team that played prominent roles. The two Gasol, Navarro, and certainly from Rudy Fernandez. There's that USA quickness in effect again. And at the other end, Durant finishes lethal once again in transition. I think it's really 14 times already in the game. Navarro with the floater. He's got one of the best ones in basketball. In Memphis, they used to call that instant grits. <laughs> <laughs> and in Spain, they call it La Bamba. <laughs> Lead is down to nine. Chris Paul up court for the United States. USA looking to go 5 0 oh on its pre Olympic tour. The dribble handoff by LeBron gets it back. Good ball movement, and that time, no doubt about the finish. Uh, they've gone. A, they've gone two-man game with Durant and LeBron twice so far. Been effective both times. You see, little pick and roll and the confusion. In fact, the Pow actually patted him on the head. Said, "I got kids, and I'm not one of his." Comment. No offense by it. And Calderon sneaks in there for the bucket. That time, LeBron James had. Kobe rises to the occasion like nobody else on that team. Here's a mismatch now. Paul blows by the salt. Missed the shot but got it back. And Durant off the nice feed. United States now leading by 14. Well, right now they've broken down Spain's half court defense and they're starting to get really. United States in its final Olympic tune up against Spain also doing 
its final game. And LeBron James on the slam dunk. And give Chris Paul some credit for that. Good pressure on Calderon. We talked about. But Ibaka just got tangled up with, uh, with the big fella. They screen the zone. Russell Westbrook knocks down another one. And the lead now and the foul as Russell Westbrook makes it an 18 defensively Reyes kicks it back out and another deflection Gasol left alone at the rim fouled and won almost as an afterthought well, exactly that was a bad break for Team USA ball was loose Gasol came up with it didn't realize watch this he doesn't realize there's nobody behind him turns love fouls him and Gasol finishes at the rim Four on the shot clock, time to get to work. Westbrook gets the jack up. Kept alive by Iguodala. Iguodala, the guy that does a lot of the dirty work for this USA team. Nice movement without the ball. Carmelo with the rebound. Muscles it up and in. Carmelo Anthony putting some muscle in his hustle. Well, give Andre Iguodala a lot of credit for keeping that ball alive. And for Ned, a 9-2 to two run, down by just 14. Nice speed to Reyes inside. The lead is down to just 12. Right now, you don't have the level. Of, I think Spain today has certainly tried to win this game, but I wouldn't necessarily think they've thrown the kitchen sink at Team USA. I think Paul Marcus all would play if this were a medal game. LeBron with the turnaround. Not a fan of that strategy where you just defer and say we're not going to beat him twice. Well, I know it's the way of thinking. It's, it's, it's a, you know what? You know, the European coaches, they don't, they think tactically and strategically. Could be more the words of Herm Edwards. You play. I know. I know. There's ever an opportunity for Kevin Love at the Timberwolves to make a contribution and solidify himself as part of the rotation. This is it. Three pointer way off the mark, rebounded by Spain, and the putback good. That's Felipe Reyes on the stick back. Haven't seen Powell very much. Navarro. Kobe Bryant spins on Yule. Underneath to LeBron, and LeBron with the split leg Globetrotter layup. 15 point lead again for the United States. LeBron James now with 15 points, the reigning NBA Finals MVP. Kobe's done a really good job of just deferring. You know he's going to be able to make baskets when he needs to. Loader a little bit short. And the USA on the run. Showtime for LeBron. And Surprising time out. Ball is to travel. Yeah. <laughs> he's got the mouth guard. Red, white, blue. Fasciitis all season. And Rudy Fernandez has had the back surgery. And no Mark Gasol today because of the shoulder. Ball tipped up by Love, and Russell Westbrook missed the tip. Kevin Love missed it. Westbrook got it. Love got it. United States with a series, and a great move by Love on the baseline. Well, he got all three times right there, but he stayed with it, and a good job by Kevin Love. A six to nothing USA run. Makes it a 19-point advantage. We haven't seen Team USA do any double teaming of Paul Gasol today, Mark. That time had his way with Kevin Love on the block. One on one, obviously he's a tough matchup for Kevin Love or Tyson Chandler. Team USA, I have a feeling, will treat Gasol a little bit in L.A. this year, I think uh, unfairly. I expect him to have a big year, especially with Steve Nash joining the Lakers. LeBron, meanwhile, makes it a 20-point game on the three ball. LeBron now hitting the 20-point mark. LeBron James, friend, uh, on course to become USA Basketball's leading scorer in the Olympics. If things go according to script. Oh, this is the 54th time he's represented Team USA, won that uniform. Gasol with a nice jump shot. And Powell now has 20. Remember, it was Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, and LeBron James on that 2004 debacle in, in Athens. You got to give credit to Carmelo and LeBron. They continue to represent Team USA. A lot of guys wouldn't want to come back and play, and LeBron with a spirited and accurate display of shooting here. A couple of rival crews. Haven't, will they play? You haven't seen much of this guy, Navarro, and right on cue, knocks down the three. 
It's a guy that uh, really struggled through this last season with injuries. I mentioned Planner Fasciitis. He actually missed uh, a couple of uh, ACB playoff games late in the year. Banged up all season long. LeBron James on the drive. LeBron almost had the end one. Anthony Davis, meanwhile, has checked into the ball game for the United States. He's a little richer today than he was when we saw him play yes. in the last game. <laughs> Sign that three year deal. You see LeBron, that's a mismatch with Powell trying to guard him out top. But hopefully, it, it, it's it's almost, you don't know the advantage which way it'll go because it makes them slower and bigger versus this quickness of Team USA. So I would equate it to a team with two great all pro tight ends. You got to play them both so there's less you can do in your passing game. That makes sense? Yes. And that made sense too. A great block by Anthony Davis. Of the year in college basketball. <laughs> he's he's so he's so happy about that three-year deal he signed today. <laughs> and for him, it's it's like Chevy Chase, European vacation. Yeah, he's hanging out with the best players in the world, and soon they'll hopefully be one. And certainly, this experience played pivotal roles in that 08 victory. Davis couldn't get the tip to go off the alley oop. Spain back the other way. The lob and a nice throw down. Victor Couvert, 2009, he's first round pick of the Blazers. He'll join them this year. He's still going to be a role player, needs to put some strength on, but he's one of those stretch four men that can keep people honest on, on the LaMarcus Aldridge this year in the paint. James Harden on the scoreboard for the first time. Now, Paul Allen, the owner of the Blazers, said to be in the building tonight. Why 20 years from the original Dream Team, this year's edition of Team USA defeating Spain in Barcelona on the same streets, on the same ground. The final score 100 to 70. Grand final five. I thought their defensive pressure was very, very good, especially the last three quarters. They shoot the ball well from outside when they move it, and you're talking about two or three of the best players in the world who stepped up tonight and played very well for Team USA. Well, the United States 